Today we will discuss about how to install SMGR version 8. I am having SMGR OVA and patch file on my desktop. I am logging to the VMware server. file deploy so thin provision means it is going to take 3.6 GB thick means 105 GB okay that is near to 4 GB near to 100 GB so if I am clicking thin, it is going to take only 4 GB in my hard disk space. If I am thick means it is going to take 100 GB. Okay. So Ava is recommending thick provisional lazy G road. Now it is getting copy from my desktop to VMware server. It's copied successfully. Now I'm going to power on. Click console. Press Y. IP address for the system manager. I'm going to keep 192. Subnet mask. gateway host name domain name dns it is ip version 6 it is optional so i am not going to give anything just press enter Five for Asia. It's all optional, no need. This is the virtual host name. If I'm having the primary and secondary system manager, uh, we need to give this virtual host name for the allies. So right now I'm giving VSMGR, the domain name same. So this is for SNMP trap. Um, in the version eight, they disable lot of accounts like the username like a root or admin or SMG or like that. So they clearly given here don't use the username like admin cs admin post guys like that so i'm just going to create a new username smgr cli and it is asking the cli user password so i'm just going to give okay so this is for enable the avaya login for example i given the smgr cli that is a username in case if i forgot the password i can't be able to log in because during the implementation uh, i am only doing this implementation if i forgot i need to get a help from direct avaya only so if i am enabling this service avaya can use their own login like init or root and they can 
reset my password so it is mandatory you want to enable pressing one backup will no. enter 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 it's just summarizing the all the things what we given yes continue so it's start getting installing you'll get this login so I'm just trying to log in SMGR CLI password I give in during installation it will ask to reset the password so now it's telling you are getting the green screen like SMGR it is in progress, SMGR maintenance operation in progress that means the installation is not yet completed it will take at least one hour ok so how can I uh, get it the installation that means I am just uh, getting exit ok then one more time I am trying to log in think I am just logging after one hour or 45 minutes Still, I am seeing this green. So, the green indication should be graded out. So, if there is no green, then the installation is success. So, we have to wait up to one hour. So, I am just logging after one hour. I am not getting any green screen right SMGR in the process so the installation is success now it is mandatory you want to install the patch file the patch file already I kept on the desktop so I am logging to the WinSAP 192.168.1.1 192 is my SMGR IP SMGR CLI is my username. I am just giving the password. Click yes. Continue. So I need to go to. First, let me check from here where I kept my patch file. It is in the desktop. So I am just checking my desktops. So I'm just clicking my desktop. Uh, okay, this is my patch file. So I need to copy to the SMGR server. So in the root, I'm having the software library. So let me copy this to here. So it's getting copy. So it's got copied to the S SW live ready so I'm just logging to SMGR SMGR CLI so I'm just going to CD ESW LI BA or CD SW LIB RARY No such file CD slash CD root Okay Okay, I just have to give the slash. So I just given CD slash SW library. Then I given LS. I can able to see this one. 
the patch file which we copied so now i'm just going to give ch mode sounds triple seven enter now you give ls it should be in the green color so i can be able to extract this one so the command is smgr deploy press enter it will ask the password give the smgr password so it's verifying the patch file this patch file it will take 45 minutes okay So just press enter, press the space button to continue. Press Y, yes. So it is checking the pre request. So now it start to install the patch files. So it will take at least 45 minutes.